When CS2 came out, there was a lot of hype around its new competitive mode, Premiere. An overhauled ranking system, a leaderboard, and cheaters. Oh wait, that's further ahead in the script. Anyways, in early days of CS2, if you were high elo and you queued with other high elo players, you would just dominate your matches because Premiere had such a difficult time of creating fair matches. I talked about this in a video I made about Premiere. What is this, man? So I said, screw that, I'm going to solo queue. My first goal was top 1% of Premiere, and then when I achieved that, I set my sights on the top 1000 of North America. Little did North America know I had a huge advantage in my solo queue journey, but I'm going to tell you that advantage right after I thank Opera GX for sponsoring this video. This video is sponsored by Opera GX. Opera GX. I hate to break it to you, but if you're not using Opera GX, then your browser is probably boring and even worse, cringe. It's time to break up with them and get happily married to Opera GX. Sure, you have some drip in-game, but does your browser have drip? Opera does with GX Mods. With GX Mods, you can flip your entire browser 180 with one click and change pretty much anything you want. Satisfying typing sounds? Yes. Background music? Yes. Themes and dedicated wallpapers? Yes and yes. Take a little walk through the GX store and find the perfect mod for you. Opera may look cool, but is it smart? Yeah, it is. Meet Arya AI, your instant virtual assistant in Opera GX. Get quick and accurate information, news updates, and answers to your questions all within your browser. With Arya, browsing just got smarter. And you know what's crazy? Arya wrote that for me. The AI is selling itself. Very cool. You also have Chat GPT built in and Chat Sonic, which can generate images given prompts. Opera also has built in tools to limit use of your precious CPU and GPU while you are gaming. And you don't have to worry about getting blinded by your browser because Opera has a force dark mode on every page that you are browsing. Use my link below to download Opera GX today. My advantage is that I'm a North American player who is sculpted in the depths of the region that dominates Counter-Strike, Europe. I learned how to play Counter-Strike in Europe and I played there for over two years. While there, I did have friends that I played with, but I also solo queued a ton. And if you're European or have played in EU, you know the amount of mental fortitude it takes to not only maintain your sanity while solo queuing, but to also win games. During my time in Europe, I got both Global Elite and Level 10. I learned some really cool Russian words and I got called a baiter so much that now my playstyle centers around my ability to hold the W key. My solo queue journey to the top 1000 of North America can be broken down into four distinct arcs, with the first being the rise to top 1%. As I mentioned before, the original goal was actually just top 1%, not top 1000. I decided on doing this once I was already 17 games into my placements, starting the streams off at 7, 2, and 8. This was early days of CS2, so some adjustments to the new feeling of the game were required. We also got to experience the silliness that was post-launch CS2. After winning my first three games, I got my very first rank. Yeah. 8.6. Okay, that's what I was expecting. That's what I was expecting. That's fine. So where does that put us? 26%. We got some making up to do, guys. <laughs> These make me laugh, so I don't know why. They're just so funny. <laughs> With my ELO now set, I was ravenous for more to bring me closer to the top 1%. <laughs> there we go. One more. We also got to see some weirdness with CS2 and an in-game demonstration of how important shadows are now. It seemed like he shot him and then he died like over here. Strange. He's there. <laughs> shadow's crazy! With a successful day two, I was up 1,083 elo. You got anything to say this morning? Smoke. 
After going 4-1 on day 3, I broke into 10k elo and finished the stream at 10,500. Most fun game I've ever played, but 372 elo. Let's go! I need to go grocery shopping. I have like no snacks. <laughs> on day 4, I witnessed the greatest nade I think North America has ever seen. I'm little. It's solo. I also had some lag issues with loss. Why did that double zoom? Flashbang. I he's shit. <laughs> I don't know what that looked like for you guys, but he was just it was like boom 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 and then he killed me. <laughs> Finishing day four at eleven thousand five hundred elo, top one percent felt within my reach. Okay, let's do a check-in. We're at top, really? 6% now? At 11.5? We need 14.5 for 1% still. So, not bad. Not bad. We're still pretty close. How do you solo queue without tilting? I definitely, I don't say I tilt. I get upset. I get annoyed. But, um, I've always, like, I feel like my common answer is always just, you can only control your own actions, you know? All, all you have control of is yourself. You can't control your teammates. You can't control how the enemy plays. All you can do is, is adjust and, and play your own game. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, fucking hell. On the last game of the day, I played the infamous Jared game, where one of my random teammates did zero damage in 16 rounds. <laughs> he is 0 and 8. I haven't even noticed. <laughs> he has zero damage. I didn't even. <laughs> Are you in Discord with him? <laughs> is he just playing really bad? <laughs> Hello. Uh. Yeah. Premier's been treating me pretty good, man. This is the first game in a long time we played against a five stack, and uh, hasn't felt like we played against any cheaters or anything. Against Simple. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! Valve, please! Don't allow this! There he is. <laughs> 18k on main, by the way. 18k on main, he said. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? He doesn't even know you can- Did he just try to plant firebox? Oh my god! <laughs> He's 18k on main! It's a good thing he has op and not scout. Op, he, he may be able to win this with. Or he might not. What am I saying? Yes! Yes! The best outcome! I'm broken. I'm broken. I'm broken from that. Flicked and. Okay, ready? Easy kill. Boom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Where are we at now? 3, 13, 6, 30. We need, oh man, we're like 100 elo off from 2%. And then we're about 1,000 from 1%. After starting the day off 3-0, and well, good things have to come to an end, and Valve had to put me against another cheater on, of course, Mirage. How can somebody do this? How can somebody do this and not get banned? I don't get it. Fourteen, eight, eight, three. I think we're still two percent. We are. One more, bro. One more game. I would have pushed my button.
Woo! It's a good game, guys. Sorry I played like absolute shit. In this span, excluding my placement games, it took 23 wins and 11 losses to get to the top 1% of Premier. After this, I didn't really know what to do with myself. I honestly thought it would take much longer to get to top 1%, so I had this weird feeling of like incompleteness. And then someone asked me what I'm going to do now that I've gotten top 1%. Grind a top 1000 Let's of NA. Let's look. I mean, that's not that crazy of a grind, but... Little did I know the jump from top 1% to the top 1,000 of North America would, in fact, be that crazy of a grind. In 30 years, your children will ask you, where were you during the great ELO inflation? During this period, about mid-November through December, Valve was handing ELO out like candy. This seems like it would be a good thing for me, but the bar to get top 1000 was constantly being raised. During this time, I could only stream on the weekends, which meant that the less than 1000 ELO difference between me and top 1000 turned into a 3000 ELO difference by my next stream. It didn't help that the first stream where I officially set my sights on the top 1000 did not go all too well. On day 10, I bought an SG, which is a telltale sign that I was starting to lose some mental sanity. God, it might be face of time, bro. I don't know. I I, I would love to do the, get the top 1000 NA, but I don't know if I could stand these fucking games. Levers, cheaters, it's crazy. Spoiler alert, I did not give up on the challenge, and on day 11, our luck started to turn. We're in purple now. Yippee! What the f- I'm planning for CT. Oh. Last weekend, I gained, I went from 1500 to 1600, gained 1000 ELO, and we got to 3%. Haven't played since then, and now we're back at 6%. So, oh God, how much has 1% gone up? Or top 1000? <laughs> Ooh, it was 1900 last weekend. Okay. The finish line keeps getting pushed further and further away. Thankfully, Valve blessed us in the ELO department with the first game of the day. There's 900 ELO for that one game. <laughs> it's insane. After losing the following game, I whipped the op out and grinded some more ELO. There we go. Front path. Yeah. The, the great elo inflation was so strong in fact that despite only winning one game and losing three i still finished the day positive on elo <laughs> that works No fucking way. Despite that atrocious whiff you just witnessed, day 16 went pretty well. I finally reached 20k! Elo, 
I finished the day at 3 and 2 with 20,400 ELO. On day 17, I went 1 and 4, and I actually lost ELO for the first time since day 10. What a shot! Did you see that? After 17 days of solo queuing Premiere, here's what I thought about the matchmaking system. In my mind, it's the exact same system as matchmaking in CSGO. It's the exact same bullshit, but now we can just see the ELOs. And so it, it still doesn't make sense to me. Multiple reasons. I, don't, I think it's not reactive enough to skill level discrepancies. Like if you're in a fair match, why would you lose 100 and gain 600? Or why would you lose 400 and gain 100 if it's a fair match, a fair lobby? You know, that makes no sense to me. I think it's way too influenced by win streaks and loss streaks. I think it, I think it over overcomplicates itself and it just ends up not feeling good and not completely making it making sense that's my that's my opinion but you know what they say fuck it we ball default dead on b oh, <laughs> oh my god this heat tool. Ah, let's go. Thank you, bro. I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. I know Santa did. I know he did. He... Even though Santa and I were in the best of spirits on the day after Christmas, my teammates, not so much. Yeah, let's chill. We're good. Yeah. No, Let's I'm rush like, B together. You sound like PC principal right now, and you're not being ironic. So just shut up, please. Thank you. Rush B. Chill, 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 chill. chill. That's fine, but you guys are like super toxic, and you're not even that good. So suck a dick. With the fact that you're getting hurt by random strangers on the internet means you're a fucking retard. Oh. What was that lag? The smoke just ejected itself from my body. Despite the toxic start to the day, my mission to get more ELO was unwavered. <laughs> Pushing close, that's it. One more. Did I get him? I got him, I got him before I died. Ah, uh, good game, guys. Let's go! <laughs> Worst. Just hide, just hide. All right, let's go. Plus what? Oh! <laughs> the tides were turning and the great ELO inflation was coming to an end. We were five and oh, and then we lose one game and now we're on the plus 100 minus fucking 400. What's up guys? The days of huge ELO gains was over, but let's take a second to reflect on the month of December with some stats provided by Leadify. December encompassed most of the great ELO inflation. Within this month, I averaged 296 ELO gained per win, compared to only 151 ELO lost per loss. With an average of 87.8 ADR and 0.83 kills per round, I finished the month with 24 wins and 13 losses. As you remember, I had placed at 8,500 ELO, and within 20 streams I had shot up to nearly 21,500. However, with the lackluster ELO gains from day 20, it was clear that my challenge was quickly becoming much more difficult. Here it goes! In Greek mythology, Sisyphus received an incredibly interesting punishment for his betrayal to Zeus. Trapped in the underworld, Sisyphus was forced to push a boulder up a steep hill. This boulder, enchanted by Hades, would never reach the peak of the hill, no matter how hard Sisyphus tried. Maybe I'm being a bit dramatic, but this is what the third arc of my journey felt like. In this metaphor, Valve is Hades 
and he has put an enchantment on the elo I get from winning and losing games. On day 21, I won 4 games and lost just 1 game, which granted me about 400 elo. On the following day, day 22, losing all 4 games resulted in me losing about 1700 elo. Those 4 losses put me 2800 elo away from top 1000, when before I was only 1000 away. On day 23, for every meter I pushed the boulder up the hill, it would slide back another 3 meters. We won the first game, giving us 105 elo. We then lost the second, sending us back down to 20k. Losing the third brought us into the 1900s. Now at this point, I was incredibly desperate to get back to 20k. Despite my best efforts, we lost the fourth game, losing 555 elo. Regardless of the massive elo losses, I wasn't going to give up. Uh, okay, we won one. I don't know less. Oh! Good game, guys. Well played. One con. Jungle, though. Maybe Thalos. Nice. Nice. I'm smoking jungle. <laughs> you goober! Four wins and four losses, minus 937 ELO. Yeah, it didn't feel good. <laughs> good start. Good start to the day. 100 ELO. Oh, it feels so good. On day 24, I won four games and tied two, bringing me back to the cusp of 20k ELO. <laughs> Luckiest man. Day 25, and especially the first game, was pivotal for me. Jumping back up above 20k elo was super important, so I wasn't going to let anything stop me. Although my teammates did do a little trolling. You're in smoke CT. Oh no. <laughs> Bro. Why would You're you kill? Oh Why would you still go? <laughs> no, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> Thankfully, we still won it, and I got back into 20k. In one of my later games, we played against this god awful wall hacker on Overpass. <laughs> he, has to, he has to look down through here at Khan to see if he's walked up far enough for him to nade. <laughs> Then he holds con. Nobody con. Let's look at this peak. Oh my god! Come on now. Oh, I'm just holding left side fountain for no reason. And he sucks! Day 26 was somehow an exact copy of day 25. I won three games and lost two games and Cooper, finished with hello. plus 382 elo. On day 28, my stream kept crashing, so I only got two games in, but I won both of them and finished the day off at 21,710. There we go. The perpetrator. All right, this is getting boring. Let's do a few lightning days. On day 29, I won three games and lost two games and ended up losing about 350 ELO for my efforts. On day 30, we won three games, but also lost three games, losing 46 ELO.
<laughs> day 31. I won three of my four games and finished the day off about a thousand elo away from top 1000. Oh! Kill bomb. That's right. Oh, day 32. I lost my first two games of the day, losing 300 elo in the first and 474 in the second. Day's worth of effort felt like it got flushed down the toilet. Jesus Christ, no, 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 no. At this point, I was so deep into the challenge that no matter what the setback was, I couldn't give up. It's been a few months, let me remind you. We started this in late October, and now we're entering February. So despite my deep desire to just play face it, to get off of Premiere, I couldn't do it. I had to see it to the end. Let's go. Day 34 started off dreadfully. I lost my first four games and was again on the brink of losing 20K. I'm losing the juice, guys. And to decide my fate, what do you know? It's Mirage. Come on! <laughs> Not gonna lose it. Shut up, shut up, don't talk. Don't talking, please. Day 35 was a weird one where I played this Mirage game and there are four stacks, so they're just not gonna talk to me. Are these guys hacking? This guy's gonna be hacking. Yeah. Toggle, they cheating. Oh my, oh my God, no. Did he say they're cheating just because that one guy, Van, like got two kills? Awesome. <laughs> Get me out of here. I don't think the opponents were cheating because they pretty quickly surrendered. And then a couple of legit games later, this happened. For the, uh, for, uh, what? Fuck. Good game. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. What the fuck was that? This guy late pushes long, I have no doubt about it. Three, two, one. We did end up getting some real games in and we finished the day off at seven and two. <laughs> I have a nade for this, let's just swing it together. Ready? Despite my absolutely <laughs> sick plays, we did lose this game. The other team had this awfully suspicious player on it. Look at him, bro. Nah, uh, he's so, oh my God. Four and one on the day, I finished within 750 ELO of top 1000. Good boy. <laughs> I don't have a treat in my hand, I'm sorry. Day 37 was heartbreaking. I won two and I lost three and somehow lost 677 elo. All right, I gotta eat something. I'm getting grumpy. I'm getting grumpy. I'm hungry. I got the hungry grumps right now. That's the problem. Crouch sprays often get you minus five, 20. Oh my God. Okay, let's win this. Yeah, we didn't win this game. Laptop Gamer on the other team was rage hacking and swiftly took 524 elo away from me. But like I said before, no matter what the setback is, I would not quit. At this point, with how much elo I was losing per loss compared to how much elo I would gain per win, I needed like a huge win streak to get to top 1000. I just needed to get there. I needed to win game after game after game. And that meant I needed luck to not go against another rage hacker. Good game, guys. Well played. Let's go. Come on. Wait, did you hear that? Come on. Luck on top of thousand, Wilson. That's exactly what I need. With a combination of luck and me playing well, I can do it. I'm rotating.
Come on! Jesus! <laughs> Let's fucking go! You said you have a YouTube channel, Purple? Yeah. What is it? Vucisco. Vucisco? It's fucking you again, dude? I've queued you like three times, bro. Yeah, <laughs> no way. Oh my god. Do you think cereal is a soup? Absolutely not. Soup is defined as a hot, like a hot uh, liquid, so I don't even know what it's defined as, but... Yeah, is hot chocolate or like tea a soup then? It's tea a soup? Tea's, tea doesn't have anything in it. You don't eat tea, you drink tea. If you have like a smooth tomato basil soup, right? Like a creamy one. And there's nothing like substantial in it to like eat. It's just purely drinking. Is that not a soup? Terrorists win. We will stop your little no. no, that's not a soup. Not a soup. It's a fake soup. It's an imposter. Opinion disregarded now. Outside. I just booed on him. You boo booed on him. <laughs> <laughs> Door dead. Good game, guys. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Something truly inspiring happened on the first game of the day on day 39. We just got spawned into a HVH wall, HVH game. I was trying my hardest to get our team to kick our cheater and to get the other team to kick their cheater. What if, what if they don't, what if they don't kick their cheater? Then fuck green anyways, man. We should kick him regardless. Yeah, fuck me anyways. Yep. They won't kick their hackers, bro. The enemy team ended up kicking their cheater and finally, have fun, please. There we go. Let's go, guys. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. I believe in this community. 4v4, no cheaters. Oh! <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. After that weird ancient game, I did not play very well in this Vertigo game, but I did just enough to help our team win. The luck was still on our side for this Mirage game. The enemy team had a lever halfway through, so we cleaned it up pretty quickly. It doesn't feel great winning 5v4, but hey, at this point, I'll just take the elo. What? It's a fucking decoy that I flicked onto in CT. One more jungle. Why would we... <laughs> And they can't even have an AK. They all died last round. <laughs> Where are we at? 21,750. Oh. One more game. This is all I need to get top 1,000. Fortnite, Fortnite. We love Fortnite. Overpass, let's go. God damn it, one in pit. I just wanted to get plant, I was desperate. The game started off well enough with us winning the first two rounds. Oh, I thought he had a Galil, not a fucking UMP. Nice. And then our T side kind of fell apart. It felt like we couldn't get anything done together, but I didn't lose faith in our CT side. Let's go, we fucking got this. Just come back, Orange. Come back, come back, come back. Too long, Okay. Two, two. All three, one out long. Nice, good job. Let's go. Let's go. What is this smoke? He's just standing there. He is just standing. <laughs> nice, great job. Come on. Get close to the door and flashing. Green, come on, let's go. One more short. Good job. One more front path and one divider. 
Nice. Wait for your buddy. Oh, yes! Fucking great job. Let's go. The guys with duffel bags and shit. He is so close. Ooh. One push Molly. Mid. I got in her. Whoa! Okay, one divider. Con done. Let's go. 2A. Oh, two more baths. Damn, I didn't think all of them would just be grouped front baths after I mollied it. Oh, last hopping, yeah. <laughs> Playground bots. Two more, three playground. They're both towards default. He's gonna go pit. He's gonna go pit. He's gonna go pit. A bajillion percent. He's in pit right now. Oh! Yes! Let's go! Go back site, because I want to go towards B. Oh, out, out, Beth. Fuck, it sounded like they were pushing B hard from the way they were panicking. I should have just stayed from Beth. Nice. That sounds like it's planted for CT. Oh. Huge. Yeah. Huge! Let's go, guys! Yes! Let's fucking go! Five months of fucking premiere, and we're done! We did it! And a kilowatt case. I gotta open it now. Oh! We're free, you guys. Am I here? That's me! <laughs> we've had some very low lows, we've had some very high highs, and we've done it. We finally done it. Oh, I'm gonna buy a key for this case, and we can open it. Valve must reward me for all the shit I've gone through. All right, ready? Victory kilowatt case. Give it to me. Oh, no fucking way! You are joking! <laughs> you are kidding, bro! I lied to you at the beginning of the video when I told you about my big advantage. My big advantage wasn't that I played Counter-Strike in Europe. My advantage is the community around me. The people who hung out in these streams with me and cheered me on, they were my biggest advantage. If it weren't for them, I surely would have given up on this. They kept me sane, they kept these streams fun. I cannot thank you guys enough. Real quick, let's talk about the cheating problem, because I know that probably the majority of the comments on this video are going to be about cheaters in Premiere. I played Premiere during a time period where I think there are far fewer cheaters than there are now, and by now I mean April of 2024. This video did not include every cheater that I ran into, I thought that would get very boring and very repetitive. It absolutely was a problem, and uh, it became part of the challenge. That's why in the last period, I needed luck just to avoid cheaters. And if your matchmaking system requires you to have luck, to, to need luck to rank up, uh, then I don't think it's a very good one. Valve, please fix. An enormous thank you to these people who helped collect clips that made making this video possible. And of course, another enormous thank you to my channel members who are here through it all supporting me. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for watching this entire video. Good luck and have fun in all of your future games.